sure about your first day at Casey. Oh, very excited. Yeah. yeah. Or any things you're looking forward to? As long as I don't kill a patient. <laughs> I'm good. That's the baseline. Low expectation. What rotations are you both doing? Surgery. I'm on specialty, so cardiology and ICU. Wow. Um, well, we'll check back in with you at the end of the stay. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> How do you feel about being at Casey? Uh, it was great. Yeah. What are your first rotations? You do. You just get a Oh. Uh, <laughs> Very nice, okay, good luck. Hello. I am here with Hasna. How was your first experience? It was much better than I thought. Yeah, it was the, the people, like the interns, the yeah. bridge, they, the they were awesome. Yeah. Actually. actually, the patients too. Yeah, they were, they were. Yeah. Just being able to like actually ask the questions we learned during like med school and also do like physical examinations. <laughs> And forgot to do all school tests, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, we'll be able to see that procedure tonight, not tonight, later in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, we'll update you guys soon. Bye. So I just attended my first uh, surgery rotations. Uh, we started with some procedural skills classes from um, 8.30 to 9.30 and then from there onwards we were sent to our respective rotations and took histories and examinations of patients. Personally, I um, went to the gen surge ward um, and we followed up with some pre and post op patients um, just asking them what brought them into the hospital what their symptoms were whether they had any other prior medical conditions or medications they were taking um, and just tried to make differential diagnoses of what they might have come into the hospital for I was able to observe a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which means removal of the gallbladder. It was around two hours long. It was a really interesting and insightful procedure. Um, I was able to pretty much stand right next to the bed um, as long as I didn't touch and make physical contact with any of the sterile fields. Um, and it was crazy to see how, um, I guess, you know, many of the things that I had been seeing through anatomy books and through lectures, I was seeing in real life. Um, not going to lie, I wasn't really interested in surgery, but this did pique an interest for me. Um, so let's see how the next few weeks goes and um, I'll report back to you on how I feel then. Bye. out of a three hour operation and I am so tired my legs hurt but it was really useful really insightful okay I'm heading home now so today I did some ward rounds as usual. I also did some admin work for the team, faxed some files over to a hospital and called uh, patients to update them about their surgery. I thought I'd check out the theatre um, by around three o'clock and I found a few procedures for me to observe. The first procedure I watched was a groin abscess. Very simple procedure, pretty much just need to cut off a chunk of skin which is full of pus. So that only took like 10 minutes. Straight after, I went into a different theatre, um, which was a procedure that I had wanted to watch. It was a hernia repair. So in the abdomen, um, obviously you have your small and big intestine. Part of that intestine herniates out, pretty much. So what they had to do was uh, separate the uh, most bottom layer where the hole was located from the rest of the muscle layers 
and then they had to put a mesh um, on top of that hole so that uh, the intestine wouldn't push against the wall anymore. Okay, really, really good day, really long day, and now I'm heading off to work immediately. But again, I am really grateful to be able to have the opportunities that are given to me as a med student, and I can't wait to observe even more next week. Bye. Thank you.